Hey everyone, I wanted to do this video today. Sorry about the terrible lighting, but it's getting dark and I don't know, I still wanted to do it. But it's a tag called What I Wish I Knew 10 Years Ago and Don't I Wish I Would Have Known More 10 Years Ago. <laughs> 10 years ago, I was 16 years old. I was a sophomore in high school and um, I was having a good time, you know, and I had, you know, a good teenage years, but I wish that I would have maybe had this advice or maybe took things a little bit more seriously. But here is some of the advice that I would tell myself now that I'm 26. And the first one would be, number one, try, try not to worry so much about fitting in. And what I mean by fitting in, um, I don't mean, and I hate to even use that word because I think when a lot of people hear that word, or especially teenagers, when they hear the word fit in, they think of fitting in to like the popular crowd or the in crowd. And that's not what I mean. I mean, I think it can go either way. I think try not to worry so much about fitting in, you know, whether it be in the goth crowd or in the super smart nerdy crowd or in the jock crowd. I think sometimes whether you start a new school or you, um, whatever the case may be, I think even if you've known someone for years, it's easy to start hanging out with certain people. Maybe because you've known them forever. Maybe you start a new school and they're nice to you and they're actually inviting you to do things. And you're kind of scared that if you don't hang out with them, no one else will like you. So you start falling into this group of people who you're really not like. You're really, deep down, you really don't even like sports, but you're trying so hard to like football or to like baseball or to be the jock on the team when really you're not that person. And I don't mean that you can't be friends with everyone. I think you should be friends with everybody. But don't feel like you have to fall into a certain group or be a certain way when you're really not like that. My advice would be to, you know, be more confident in who you are and don't be afraid to stand alone, even if you're the nerdy kid or even, you know, if you're not into sports and you know, you want to be the class president. Who cares what people think? Do what makes you happy and what brings you joy and excitement. You know, don't worry about not having any friends. Because I think sometimes even, even the most popular kids, you know, have insecurities. And I think sometimes, you know, you hang out with people because it's easy to. And so, you know, you don't always make the best decisions. You don't always, you know... Um, go down the path that you really should have. So kind of take that into consideration, you know, choose your friends, you know, because you really feel like that you enjoy being around them and that they make you a better person. Not because, you know, you feel like you have to hang out with someone. Okay, off of that tangent, the second advice that I would give someone would be to be mindful of your actions. And what I mean by that is, um, with every action, there is a consequence. And I'm sure you've heard that a million times. And yes, you know, at 16, it's all about living and learning. And you're going to make mistakes. If I sit here and tell you a list of things to do, you know, like, it doesn't matter. Everyone makes mistakes. So if I could go back 10 years ago, I would just tell myself, you know, hey, don't worry about, you know, doing things because everyone else is doing them. You know, with every action, there is a consequence. So if if you stop and think about what you're doing, sometimes you won't be so quick to do those things, you know? <laughs> just, sometimes you just, just take a minute to step back and think, do I really want to do this? Should I really date this person? Should I really go to this party? Should I really not study for this test? Because unfortunately, even though you're teenagers and you can make mistakes and it's a part of it, some mistakes stick with you for the rest of your life. And that is something that I don't want anyone to, you know, I mean, if I could prevent that, you know, I would because there are some mistakes that are just bigger than others. So be mindful of that. You know, even though you're young and careless, be mindful. The third thing that I would tell myself would be um, to be involved more. You know, I mean, I think... I really, like, I wish I would have participated more in things. And I don't mean, I mean, I know that everybody, like, is different on this. And some people are like, well, 
I'm just not that type of person. I don't feel like I want to do everything. So I think to each his own. But for myself, I wish I could tell myself, you know, Heather, participate. When someone says, hey, do you want to try this after school activity? You know, I wish I would have raised my hand. Because honestly, with every opportunity that is in front of you, it can take you somewhere. It can spark an interest. You could meet a friend that you never never would have even met if it wasn't for that opportunity. So don't be afraid to take chances and join clubs and things. You know, if, even if no one else raises their hand, if you think you want to do it, do it. Go for it. Because I feel like looking back, I'm like, gosh, you know, you only get to live once. You only get to live through high school one time. So why not? Why not, you know, give it all you got? And if you think you would like to do something, try it. You know, it's not like you have to do it for the rest of your life. You know, if you don't like it, oh well. But, you know, I did go to prom. I went to my junior and senior prom. So I was, like, involved. You know, I went to that. And then I went to, you know, some pep rallies and other activities. It's not like I was, you know, antisocial. But there was a lot of other things that I think I didn't participate in. That I could have, you know, and I could have been more a part of, but for whatever reason, maybe I was scared that, you know, what are people going to think if I do that or that there wouldn't be anybody there that I was friends with, and so I just didn't go. But looking back, I just totally wish I could, you know, be involved in more. So that's the third thing, and then, I mean, that's pretty much the big things, the big advice, you know, would be to be involved, to, you know, be more mindful of my actions and, and everything that I do, you know, and then the first thing, you know, I was talking about fitting in, you know, be more confident in myself. Those are the, the really the three key things that I wish that I could tell myself, but, you know, there's a million, to be honest with you. I mean, I could go on and on. There is a gazillion things that you could go back and you could tell yourself or that you could change, and I mean, on dating as far as if y'all wanted to know advice on that I mean I would say I never really had a serious a super serious relationship until probably my senior year in high school and I would just say you know relationships are fine you know if you meet somebody and you really like them and they're good to you then that's great I mean sometimes it can be better than you know not having one sometimes it can keep you out of trouble and then sometimes it can get you into trouble. So I would just say if you are in a relationship with a guy, keep it light and fun. Don't get too serious. Keep it innocent. You are in high school. Still make time for your friends. Go out with your friends because you have the rest of your life to be in serious, complicated relationships. You know, go to the football game with your friends. Go do things with your friends too. And if you are in a serious relationship, um, you know, have fun. Be in that relationship and have fun with each other, but keep it innocent. Don't be barefoot and pregnant by the time you graduate baking biscuits. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm kidding in that. I don't mean to offend anybody. I'm just, I'm saying I, I notice a lot on TV now that kind of promotes that. And I know they're trying to prevent it, but I think it also makes it more appealing at the same time. Um, and I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know how I feel about all of it. I just know that a lot of teenagers sometimes do get into serious relationships and do have babies and get pregnant because it's it's what everybody's doing or it's it's they feel loved or whatever. But don't don't act too quick because if you hold out and let it happen when it's really supposed to, you will enjoy it so much more than trying to you know have a baby in high school or that young and get married and, and then there's some people it works out great for so I would just say you know take it slow if you're in a serious relationship take it slow make sure you um, have a very balanced you know life at 16 you know make room for your friends too and your studies and you will be just fine and if you have any more questions or you want to do this video leave a video response I would love to know what you wish that you knew 10 years ago and you know if you're older than me maybe I can pick up some advice because I'm sure 10 years from now I'll look back and kick myself right I'll make another one so I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I'll talk to you later bye